This meeting is being recorded. Thank you for that. All right, I'm gonna start by telling you guys a story today. If you are wondering what book are we in today? Uh, no book, how's that? And for the first time in two and a half years, I'm gonna to speak to you with no notes. I'm just gonna talk. Oh, I can. <laughs> notes are gone. Notes are gone. Actually, what I just threw to the side are notes that I prepared at four o'clock this morning, and I'm calling an audible and scrapping what I prepared and having a different conversation with you. So in 2015, I moved from the west coast of Florida to Coral Springs to become a team leader. And at the time we had 62 associates in the office. Day one, I stood in front of the uh, associates in a team meeting and I said, we're on a journey with a destination that is assured. And our destination is to build the number one real estate office in South Florida, the number one Keller Williams Market Center in the South Florida region, and eventually the top real estate market center in all of Keller Williams. So that's what we were going to build. Now, I don't know if any of you have ever built something big in your life uh, and a home, for example. Have you built a home? Have you started your own business prior to real estate? Because obviously all of you are in the process of building big, successful real estate businesses now. I'm just asking you inside your head, as I'm sharing this story with you, think of an experience that you've had where you've built something big in your life. And was it easy? And I think the answer to that is no, it wasn't. It was really, really hard. And I'm on the job maybe six months building the Keller Williams Coral Springs Market Center, um, living by myself for the first time in 25 years um, since getting married in 92. So it's 23 years. Uh, living by myself because Monica and Lacey are on the west coast of Florida while Lacey is in treatment for non-Hodgkin's lymphoma at All Children's Hospital. I'm living in an apartment for the first time since I'm uh, 18, 19, 20 years old. Uh, that was an experience. And it was harder than I thought it was going to be. It was harder to build this market center than I thought it was going to be. It was harder to be alone on my own while my family was on the west coast of Florida than I thought it was going to be. It was harder to leave my son uh, at the time who was attending Southeastern University in Lakeland and ultimately moving back to the west coast of Florida with no home to go to. Because by the time he moved back, Monica and Lacey had joined me in Coral Springs, and we had abandoned our son. Uh, and I never really looked at it like that. But <clears throat> something Monica said to me over the weekend uh, made me realize we did. We abandoned our son when we made the move to Coral Springs, because here we go. And oh, by the way, Colin, sorry, we forgot to check on you and see what you're going to do. Um, but figure it out. He was 19 years old at the time. So we're building this company and I come home from work one day. Guys, I'm going to hit mute because we got background noise. Hold on one second. Mute all. Okay. I come home from work one day and I walk out to the patio of the apartment that I'm living in and uh, there's this huge spider web with this gigantic spider in the middle of the spider web. And some of you know me and you've heard this part of this story before, so you know this, but I am scared to death of spiders. I'm totally freaked out by them. Doesn't matter if they're big or small, 
it, it's crawly and it's got eight legs or 10 legs or 12 legs, whatever it is, I am freaked out. Now, the bigger, the more freaked out I am. And this guy is huge. So I'm like, oh yeah, this won't work. No, I, I can't, you and I are not gonna coexist on this patio, buddy, you gotta go. And my first instinct was, and, and don't get mad at me, and some of you are gonna go, John, that's awful. My first instinct was to kill this guy. <laughs> get rid of him. And then I thought, Lacey would not like that. So I get a broom and I walk out to the patio and I take the broom and I get the spider on the broom. And as quickly as I can, I push him over in the grass and make sure he's not crawling up that broom and getting on me. Oh my God, that would really freak me out. And I destroy the web. So this home that he had built and, and, and she, he, let's say she, um, Charlotte's Web, right? It's a she. <laughs> and this home that she had built, I destroyed in a minute. Now, imagine you've built a brand new home. You've built this big business that you put blood, sweat, and tears into. And then something happened. And your home was destroyed. Your business was destroyed. And you're faced with rebuilding or giving up. Now, most people would give up, right? At least for a period of time. You know, at the very least, if I'm that spider, I'm sitting in the grass going, I can't believe I just spent two days building this beautiful new home and this guy comes along and destroys my home in less than a minute and i'm going to have a pity party right out there in that grass all by myself if i'm the spider right okay but the spider doesn't do that i go to work the next day i come home the next night and i walk out out into the patio and there's this big spider web again with this huge spider right in the middle of the web and i'm like you've got to be kidding me she came back and she built the spider web again, and there she is. So what did I do? I went and got the broom and I took the spider and I pushed her over into the grass and I took the broom and I destroyed the spider web. In other words, I destroyed her home for the second time. Now, how many of you, if you didn't give up the first time, you would definitely give up the second time? If I didn't, I sure would be tempted to. And, you know, as I'm thinking about this story this morning, I'm thinking about my life. And I'm thinking about in 2002 when I became a full-time real estate agent overnight, not by choice, but because I was given an ultimatum by the company that I was working for that I either quit selling real estate part-time or they were going to fire me. And my response was, we're going to have to fire me. And sure enough, they did. And overnight, my spider web was destroyed. And I'm faced with rebuilding. I've got a five-year-old son, a six-month-old daughter, a mortgage payment, car payments, a family to support, and I've sold one home at, my, at this time. And then by 2000 and well, let's just say a year later, I've built a very successful real estate practice and I'm doing well. My spider web is good. And then in 2006, I go out and I start my own real estate business. And by 2007, the market had crashed. The business failed. I lost $500,000 in the process. My house was foreclosed on because we bought it six months before the market crashed. And by the time we needed to sell it, it was worth half of what we paid on and business failed houses foreclosed on, and in a period of what felt like overnight, I'm $500,000 in debt and starting over, and all of a sudden, my spider web is destroyed again. And I start my own team in 2008, and we rebuild. And by 2012, we're kicking butt. And by 2012, I had paid, I had paid back most of the money that I was in debt for by 2014. 
15 when I made a decision to move to Coral Springs to start over as a team leader and, and launch this market center in Coral Springs, Florida. I'd pay back all of the debt and I'm doing really well. My spider web is doing great. I've rebuilt it again. And then my daughter is diagnosed with cancer and in the first year of being a team leader, uh, starting over, having money set aside to fund my family during that move, all of that money going to medical bills, and all of a sudden, it's gone again. And my spider web is destroyed again. And it's time to rebuild. And by 2019, we had built this small little market center from 62 agents to over 300 agents. We were the second most profitable market center in the South Florida region on our way to realizing our goal of being the number one real estate office in South Florida, the number one real estate market center in the South Florida region, and life is good and the spider web is back and doing really well. And then 2020 COVID comes and we have competitors that target Keller Williams Realty Coral Springs as their hunting ground for recruiting and we start losing agents and all of a sudden my spider web is destroyed again. Here we go again. We've got to build this damn spider web again. And by 2022, we've got a new we've got a new model and things are going well and we're rebuilding and all of a sudden we lose 150 million dollars in production in 6 weeks. Spider web destroyed. Here we go again. And I'm thinking about this this morning, thinking, John, you're sitting out there in grass, you're looking up at that patio, and you're asking yourself, do I have the energy to build it again? Or do I give up? And here's the good news. The good news, I don't have give up in my DNA. Exactly. I just don't. Sometimes I wish I did, but I don't. You see, the spider, just like the duck who quacks until you feed them, until somebody feeds them, and they'll never stop until somebody feeds them because it's in their DNA. They don't have the ability to do anything else but to continue to quack until somebody feeds them, the spider doesn't have the ability to give up and say, I give up, I'm done, screw this, I'm just going to live the rest of my life out here in the grass. The spider is going to go back and build the web, no matter how many times I tore that thing down, she would have kept rebuilding. By the third time I came home, and there's that spider web again, and there's that damn spider in that spider web again, I looked at that and I said, okay, it's me and you. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm just going to, we're roommates. I'm going to have to get used to the fact that you're not going anywhere. You win, I give in. You, that's your home. You stay up there. I'll move way over here on the other side of the patio. So when I come home from work at night and I sit here and I relax after a hard day's work, you and I can just hang out together. We're going to coexist because you outwilled me. I will outwill this because it's in my DNA. Keep tearing my spider web down. I'll keep rebuilding it because I don't know how to give up. Now, why did I share this story with you today? Not because of me, because it's never about me. I share this story with you because somebody in the 30 plus people that are listening to this story right now, somebody is dealing with rebuilding their spider web because their hopes and dreams that they put blood, sweat, and tears into have been dashed, burned to the ground, torn to pieces, and they're left and what's left of what once was a dream and now is ashes. Rise from the ashes because it's in your DNA. You will always be the phoenix 
and you will rise from the ashes because you don't have the ability to give up. All right. Talk to me. What'd you hear?